tonight. J.J. Reddick, the dominating, sharpshooting offensive weapon of the Duke Blue Devils, and his buddy, the landlord, Sheldon Williams, holds court at Cameron. The awesome Miami trio of Heights, Harris, and Diaz hits the road for a night of outrageous shots and unbelievable moves. Miami takes on second-ranked Duke, featuring the frontrunner for Player of the Year, J.J. Reddick. Duke puts its undefeated ACC record on the line against the Miami team that must win tonight. The excitement starts now on ACC Sunday Night Hoops. Tonight is JJ's night in Cameron Indoor Stadium. Look at the numbers over the past four games. Before it's all said and done, J.J. Redick will become the all-time scoring leader in this magnificent conference. And tonight, with more than 30 points, he'll surpass Johnny Dawkins as Duke's all-time leading scorer. And the Cameron Crazies are out as the number two Devils take on the Miami Hurricanes for live. Thanks, Tim. If the Duke Blue Devils are the New York Yankees of college basketball, as many allege, then J.J. Redick has taken over the role of Reggie Jackson, and he's the straw that stirs their drink. In their last ball game against Wake Forest, he broke the career record for three-point field goals. Formerly held by Curtis Staples of the University of Virginia, who was in attendance and was there to congratulate J.J. at the end of the game. A lot of records set by J.J. Redick, a lot of great plays by him. But as far as records and everything else, right now, J.J.'s not quite as impressed as we are. I'm so wrapped up into what our team is doing right now that I'm not really able to really appreciate uh, the records that um, you know, I'm breaking or, or nearing. J.J. Reddick set to take the court and try and move into second place all time in the ACC in career scoring. It's the Duke Blue Devils and the Miami Hurricanes coming up next on ACC Sunday Night Hoops. Tim Brando and Mike G. Manjavinsky will have tip off. The emergence of Paulus at the point, and we talked to Mike Krzyzewski at the top of uh, the day as soon as we got here. There's Reddick, caught that for a deuce. So he's 28 away. Well, you think of the Art Hanneman, Dick Groat of uh, yesteryear, the magnificent 30 point plus performances that they had. Without the use of a three point line, I might add. You may be reminding us of that more often. <laughs> JJ drains the tray and the steal by McRoberts. Hamilton with a poor pass in and Reddick knocks down three more. Do you think he's ready? <laughs> My goodness. Just like that, it's 11 to 2 Duke. Yeah. Has whittled away in the last three minutes. This is where Miami can hang in this ball game, Tim. On the offensive glass, they've got to get multiple opportunities inside, and did so. And does that uh, if there's a weakness for Duke, it's rebounding the ball. Redick, another tray. He hasn't missed from downtown. His only miss on the wing, a two-point shot. JJ Redick's many moments, and he'll even tell you he does things on the floor he would never do off. Like getting in the face of some North Carolina fans in February of 04, saying, I've got that, and then some. We'll be right back. Where you see uh, the, the scorching start that he had, and then uh, no points in the last seven minutes. Not many touches, really, because of uh, some early turnovers. Yep. No, I, it's kind of funny to think about the fact that he's having, by his standards, a poor free throw shooting year at 88%. <laughs> yeah. The reason why is he's taking so many hits inside. He's getting fatigued and then losing a little concentration. Williams feels the double team, gets it out to Reddick. I'll see if you're Clemente, you've got to stand up. You can't try to draw a flop against J.J. Reddick. You're not going to get that call, and all you do is give him an open jump shot. 15 down, 15 to go for Reddick. To corral that in. So a good no call in your estimation. Yes. Reddick. He's down to a dozen, needed to become the all-time scorer in Duke history. For Miami with both Clemente and Harris out on the floor, and there Harris draws the task of trying to simmer down J.J. Redick. How's that going? Yeah, I'd say he's percolating, wouldn't you? 42-36. 20 on the night for J.J. Redick. Intentional foul was called. That may have been the last straw. 
And as I mentioned earlier, it was John Cal and uh, Joe Lindsay that he was upset with while he was talking to Carl Hess. Reddick is now nine points away from the Duke all-time scoring record. Make it eight. Don't rule out that he, he might not get there before halftime. <laughs> Reddick working to make Roberts. Skip pass to J.J. 25 for Reddick. Five points needed. And this place will come unglued. Nelson, timeout. 11.49 remaining. Fans can sense it. He's down to five. His first bucket of the second half. And I think most of the uh, Cameron crazies paid attention, don't you? We'll be back. Uh, it's, uh, right now, the, it's the free throw situation, and then you got this intercontinental <laughs> scoring battle going on between J.J. Redick and Adam Morrison. Morrison's got a bit of an edge, though, Tim. He's, he's got these behind so in the time zone. Really he knows what Redick is doing. Exactly. Then he can go out there and counter. Partially, one of it is recruiting, and the other is coaching. That's uh, for him. He's one of the best recruiters in the country, so you know he's going to get talent. Redick, the pull-up. J.J. with 27. Jeannie, his mom, looks on. He's a three-point shot away. Melky only sets the pick, and there it is. The all-time Duke leading scorer, J.J. Reddick. Could not come at a better moment. Soak it in. Here's the look. I mean, he was a double scoop. a screen down low, and he actually pointed to this side. He knew he wanted to come out and free himself up. And only appropriate is a three-point basket, and Johnny Dawkins standing up, and his parents right there with him. Outstanding stuff. Did J.J. Reddick play? You see, you saw the thumb go over to the other side, and uh, Harris missed it. Reddick knew where he wanted to come out, and uh, he, he, just, he just needs a, a nanosecond to get the ball up. And there's the celebration by the family. Yep. Very proud of Jeannie Reddick. Bring some shots of publicity to schools that otherwise would not receive it. J.J. turns it over, and he's been taken out of the game. Listen to the ovation. Right on the number. Congratulations, J.J. It's been a pleasure having an opportunity to cover you throughout your career. And this is like a day off for him. He gets yeah. two minutes of rest <laughs> at the end of the game. I mean, he's used to going 40. Clemente threw one up from his hip against Melchione. Ladies and gentlemen, Duke University's all-time scoring leader, J.J. Reddick. see the players making their way to, to get to J.J. They... What did it mean for you to have the man whose record you broke coach you and then present you the ball tonight? I, I feel very lucky and, and I feel blessed and honored for Coach Dawkins to do that. Uh, he's the greatest player, I think, in Duke history. Um, he really helped turn the program around under Coach K. And without him, I probably wouldn't be here. So, uh, you know, thanks a lot, Coach Dawkins. Had a chance to talk with your mom before the game, and she said everything's kind of been said about how proud we are of him. She's focused on the last couple of games in Cameron. Yeah. It's about that time for you. Where are your emotions right now, thinking of your senior year concluding? Yeah, my emotions are all over the place. You know, part of me wants to just smile. Part of me wants to laugh. Part of me wants to cry. Uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, this has been one heck of a ride, and hopefully we can keep it going.